What is up, booby goaters? My name is Erin, and for the next 30 days, I'll be attempting the lion diet, but my poor man's version, which I use butter instead of tallow because I can find butter more easily than I can find tallow. But I have a great update for that one too, so hold your horses. So this morning I had, what do they call it? Silver coffee, which is just a hot water, but I added my uh, keto drops the magnesium drops, and I kind of, you know, it gave a little flavor to the coffee, you know, in a salty way, and it was okay. I liked it. I'm gonna add butter to it tomorrow. It might be weird, but what is it these days? I also thought about using this, but if you look at it, the bare bones broth, the zero sugar right here, there's like an asterisk and it says, not a low calorie food. And I'm like, well, okay, 50 calories. All right, what do we got here? What do we got here? And it's got tapioca maltodextrin in it. And when you go on their website, it doesn't even tell you like how much tapioca maltodextrin. So I've been holding off on these for quite some time. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Uh, see, the controversy right now with Element, which I knew they had maltodextrin in it because it said so on the website. I went through their website not too long ago, testing their flavors, and I found out that they had the little uh, ingredient. They show you how to make your own electrolyte mix, so that's awesome. I need to screenshot that and make my own when I run out of keto, keto chow stuff that they gave me, but I'll be good till I do that. But anyway, I thought I'd use it like... And the thing about maltodextrin is it doesn't raise your glucose. It raises your A1C. So put that in your pocket or put that in your pipe and smoke it. I don't know, man. But I don't know about these. I mean, I don't want my A1C to raise. So I don't know. It's kind of sad. But also... I only made one of these and I never drank it and I kind of gave it to the dog. That's probably where it's going to go. So all this morning, my, my brain was like, oh, look at all that. So my daughter doesn't throw away her tea bags and I don't really either. You know, when you're not the tea bags, but the little outer rip paper until the end of the day. And I, was, I was looking at all these tea bags from last night. I was putting them away, throwing them away. And I was like, you know, why not a glass of tea? That's not coffee. Come on now. And then I had to tell myself, no, 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 no. It was in the back of my head. And I'm ripping the tea and coffee addiction off like a band-aid. Now I know I have like really great basil in my garden and it's a licorice basil and it's such a yummy tea. I can make that on my own and I trust that better than the little tea bags <laughs> with all the tea in them. <laughs> Which I should actually pick that and dry it out. I ripped this addiction off like a band-aid and I have a headache and I'm a little loopy right now because of my headache. I made sure that I had four burger patties this morning for breakfast and that I had a breakfast and then I had um, butter on top of them and I made sure like I drank my electrolytes in a drop because I didn't want to feel like that weird drag that I had last time because I did this before I did it last year for a week and it was all about how every video was kind of me and how I'm really addicted to coffee. I am. Thanks, Gilmore Girls. You did something right. You got me hooked. But away from all that, um, I'm doing really good, you know, just normal. I've actually, if you're new to this channel, I've been on the carnivore diet for 20 months and now I'm switching it up a little bit and I'm just going to have um, the lion diet, which is beef and salt and water, but also because I can't get tallow and beef fat trimmings, I have to use butter. And that's the only thing that I have to add into this. And I think that's good and that's okay. So I don't know, nobody stopped me before about it. If it's wrong, I guess I'm not gonna stop.
I'm just going to keep going. My body naturally started like not wanting to eat eggs and not wanting to have pork or chicken. So I've just been eating beef really and ground beef. Sometimes I'm just like, oh, ground beef would sound so good right now. It's just like not even, not even. So today I went onto my phone. I Googled if anybody was selling beef fat trimmings near me. And to my surprise, not too far away, I drove out with Raquel and Emmett all the way out to this place called CS Farms. And they have a special little shop in the small town of Smithville, Tennessee. And I was able to go and go inside. And there was a lovely lady and she had like milk that expired today and she was giving it away for free. So she gave the baby and Emmett like a chocolate milk and a strawberry milk and I couldn't say no it the ingredients were super clean it was just like cr uh, cane sugar strawberries and for color beet juice like who makes milk like that a good old farm store anyway I looked around I walked around a little bit and looked and I saw that they had beef bacon not kidding beef bacon I got beef bacon I'm so excited about this like Hickory smoked sliced beef bacon. Come on. It was, uh, I got my prices here. It was $13.50. <laughs> and then I asked the nice lady, I was said, hey, do you have any beef fat trimmings? And she goes, yeah, we've got that. And over in this freezer section that says dog food. Guys, guys, I'm not kidding. It said dog food. I got beef fat trimmings. Isn't this to die for? It's so drooly and awesome. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this is going to be good. It's going to be so good. Oh man, this was $13.50 and it's heavy. It's heavy. How, what, what is the weight on this? It feels heavy in my arms. It's like five pounds of beef fat. So cool. Like I could, yeah, 1350 and I know where the store is now. That's awesome. I'm going. I'm gonna hit them up a few more times. I was like, I'll be back. <laughs> she doesn't even know I'm carnivore yet. But I was like, I'll be back. But yeah, dog food. Oh, I got it and I found it. So that's got me jazzed. But I do have a headache. It's like not cool. And it's because I drink. I like yesterday was my last day and I, I made, well, I was going to actually make yesterday my first day of doing this challenge, but that little monster in the back of my head was like, just make some coffee today. You know, you know, it's going to be good. And I was like, okay, I'll make the coffee. But today I told it to shut its mouth. I'm going, I'm not going to drink that stuff. I am going to drink hot water if I want to, and I've got fizzy waters. Now, last year when I did it, I just, I had flavored fizzy water. It was what was on hand. That's why I call it poor man's lion diet. It's what you have on hand. It's not poor man's carnivore diet, which is also what you have on hand, but it's all, all meats. It's not just ruminant animals. I'm going down to ruminant because I want to see if the coffee in the cheese and the tea if if they're affecting me in any other way like at all and i can figure that out by doing this for either 30 days or two weeks but i know um it's if i do it a week i want to keep going this time and i don't want to stop and please if i start saying i just feel like i'm just so tired and i can't do it no 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 no, no. just tell me to eat fat eat eat them trimmings eat your dog food eat that dog food it's freaking beautiful man it's beautiful look at that yeah i want to go back like my bill was literally 23.50 I didn't have to pay extra tax. I'm buying from farms now. I'm going back. That was so awesome. So I guess what I will do is take these big honks up of beef fat and put, there's like a slow cook option 
on my oven and I have like one of those trays with the wire rack on top and I'll put that on there and I'll place out these beef fat, shove it in the oven and cook low and slow for hours probably, hours, I don't know how many, but I'll just check it every every four hours. I'll be like, is it is it looking good yet? <laughs> It'll be awesome. And then I can take the uh, fat from the trimmings, pour it in a little container and I got tallow. So it's all awesome. I love it. That's probably the only thing that made me super happy today is that actually that they had it. They had beef fat trimmings and it's my new favorite store. <laughs> and the rest of the day today, I don't know. I'm going to probably take it kind of easy and lazy, but also... I got this headache and I don't want to take anything for it. This headache's on me. This was my addiction to my coffee that I've had since I was 10. Absolutely need to chill. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm a little like today, but I'm going to be okay. Yeah. So this, this has been bothering me actually and it's been like sitting there in my cabinet and I'm like I could drink it but then I, and I would get the boost of energy but the multidextrin is something that I've been trying to avoid because um it 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 is probable reason for cancers around kidneys so this is <laughs> basically trash and I don't know what to do with it I could probably sprinkle it on the dog food but I just feel really bad if I fed this to my dogs you know like what if I feel bad to feed this to my dogs I feel bad to feed this to my kids I feel bad to feed this to myself and you should feel that way about an element that doesn't have enough salt in it to help you so maybe you don't need element if you're thinking like Honestly, let's think about it for a minute. The salts and element is small and the multidextrin and the flavoring is huge. So we could ponder that too. I don't know. They didn't hit me up for a sponsorship, so I'm good. Talk to a real person about element. I say they were actually upfront about it. And one of the guys that drinks his own element mixture only does the plain ones but i'm telling you man multidextrin is used as a thickening agent but it is also used to make sure that the the little salt mix salts and crystals and whatever the hell they use isn't like stuck together when you get the packet so it keeps it loose so what am i what is the word that i'm looking for for that. I mean, when you look up multidextrin, even on Google, if you just ask, it'll tell you what they're using it for. And I think one of them is just to keep it so it doesn't, um, not just not to spoil in a package, but to keep it loose. Al almost like that stuff that they spray all over cheese that's pre-shredded sh pre so it doesn't stick together. Um, that dangerous chemical, that, that weird powdery substance on your cheese the tapioca multidextrin or the something but it's not good <laughs> so yeah I basically have a bag of trash <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna feed it to my chickens I don't think I'm gonna feed it to nothing also I know Carrie from Homestead Howe takes shots of the top thing so I was like, well, hell, if you can do it, I can do it too. So it's worth doing if you have an awful sore throat. It will open that sucker up as fast as you could say, how'd you do? But I will tell you this. This stuff right here, I did it. And it burnt like crap. So don't do that. But this, I love it. Like, you have to fill up a cap full. What's a cap full? You can count your drops. It tells you too on the back how many drops. And it's very concentrated. So you need half a teaspoon or one pocket glass cap. Or as needed. And you can spread the consumption of it throughout the day. So like I could just be like two drops in my hot water. 
two drops, you know? And then I want to up my fat too. So this, I mean, and looking at this and all the meat on this beef fat, I'm like, oh yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, yesterday was Halloween. This is no, this is November 1st and you won't see this probably till the, you won't see this till the 4th. And uh, <laughs> what were you guys Halloween for? Because for me, my, my oldest, when she was a baby, she was like, two years old she asked people hey what you gonna be halloween for <laughs> i was just gonna ask you guys what you gonna be halloween for so for halloween i'll post a picture a couple pictures up here one's really blurry and the other one's not too bad because we were walking and i was like i wanted to get me and then all my kids behind me and i got me and maybe a few of my kids behind me but they are, uh, most of them were dinosaurs. I had a few pirates and yeah, and um, some dude from World War I. We had, a, we had a good time, walked him around, and I was, I forgot to tell you guys what I was. I'm a mummy on vacation. Hawaiian shirt, hat. I couldn't do the mummy face, so I just did like a skeleton, an easy skeleton. That was so hard to wash off. Grease paint is like crazy. I think they changed the formula though because I did get it off pretty quickly. I just burned my eyes with soap. Yeah, they went trick or treating. They had a good time. And the town puts on a great show for the kids because a, this is a rural town and country and there's a lot of farmers out here. So we got to bring our kids into town so they can go trick or treating. And it's so nice. Three churches close to where we trick or treated at. And everyone had an awesome goings on one of them passing out hot dogs and so hey i took a hot dog i didn't eat the bread i saved it to feed the chickens but the i ate the hot dog man the hot dog was good it was a good hot dog and the kids all ate hot dogs so cool that they could just like fuel up on on something to eat that wasn't candy and we walked them around and they had a good time a lot of them ran off and I was, and my husband's like, where are they? Where are they? And I'm like, they're just trick or treating. It's fine. They'll find me. They know where the mummy is. But anyway, we had a good time. They had hot dogs and we got home. I made, I had made devil's eggs earlier that day so they could eat them as a uh, after school snack so they could fuel up before they go out trick or treating, which they did eat. They love the devil's eggs. And I'm, I cooked them a brisket low and slow in the oven, and this was the first time ever I did that. But the brisket was like, it was just like a, a little hunk of a brisket, and it wasn't, I don't know how much it weighed, so I didn't, I don't, I think I might have overcooked it, but we sliced it, I sliced it real fine, and the kids all ate it, and they loved it, so that was good for them. Um, my husband loves thin sliced steaks, and I got him a little pack that had six of them, and I cooked those up for him. And then for me, I had chuck steak, but it was like this thin slice pack of three. So one pack of three was my food. But we had a good time and a great day. And I haven't been tempted at all by the candy, although there is this Reese's cup that is sitting on my table in the kitchen open and I haven't tossed it to the chicken bucket just yet because the kids are about to come home and maybe one of them will take it. But if I see it again, I'm going to toss it in the chicken bucket. But it's kind of taunting me a little bit. And I said, no, I'm full. I already ate today. So excited about these. Too excited. I'm going to let them defrost in the fridge. And maybe day two, you cut them open and slow cook all day. That'll be so cool. Thank, thank you, cow. And, and these cows are, a hun they were grass fed all the way up until th like three months in, or two to three months before they butcher them. I think that's great. This looks like a piece of beef bacon right there that got in here on accident. And this is also going to be amazing. Beef bacon. Oh yes, I will try it all. I will try it all. Have a great day, booby goaters. And if you drink coffee... Drink one for me. <laughs> I'm not drinking any. I think it'll be a good thing. I think I'm going to stay positive about it. The headache will go away eventually. Well, I was thinking about it. And I, I was thinking about this, this challenge like an exercise challenge. The first day, 
you're always really bad at it, but you, you're going to keep going because you want to do it. It's your challenge. The second day is usually worse because you just exercise the first day and you're freaking painful in pain, but you're still going to do it. And the third day, you're going to feel a little bit better about what you're doing. The fourth day, we're going to feel even more a little better. Just little baby steps until, until I get to a point where I don't really care. And honestly... It's kind of fun feeling more hydrated in the morning drinking hot water than it is coffee. And the coffee started tasting bitter and gross. So, and it's good fresh coffee. I love to keep my coffee in the freezer so it's fresh. Well, movie goaters, I hope you have a great rest of your day. And thank you for joining me on, on what a day. My head is like, well, at first I thought, no, this headache will go away. It's probably the weather because the day before it was like 80 degrees and we got rained on. Trigger treating. And then today it's 59 degrees outside and it could be that weather change, the fast change, but uh, it's, it's gotta be the coffee. It's gotta be the coffee.